Good morning, everybody, uh, and thank you very much for all the views, likes, and comments we have got through the past three days. Now it's day number four, the final day here at FESPA in Berlin 22, and of course we need to talk to, we want to talk to Mike Ryan from uh, FESPA, so uh, let's stick directly into it. Morning, Inkish. Good to see you. Welcome to the final day of FESPA in Berlin. Thank you very much. You know, um, I can't help thinking about you. Must be so happy to have all that music in the background, right? <laughs> this is where I start dancing yeah, live okay, on TV. That's, okay, that's fine. Okay, we just take a little. <laughs> this is my intro music, everybody. Yeah. So on, let's go with it. Run with it yeah. now. <laughs> no, uh, let's see. Can you hear us? Okay. Lovely. No, uh, it, I mean. Actually, the noise and the sound and the atmosphere, that is just part of the FESPA experience, isn't it? Yes, of course. Yeah. This is it. The eye of the tiger, the eye of FESPA. Yeah. Um, it's been a tremendous four days yeah. for the event. We're all now in the final day. The excitement for people coming back to live events. Of course, we had our event in, in October in Amsterdam, but yeah. now look. Everybody's here. Amsterdam in the end. was just rehearsing, right? Just right. rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. Getting back, and now we're back, and everybody is saying to me on the floor, "Busy show, amazing, amazing." And also, one person said to me yesterday, they said it feels like home. They, they come into the venue, they see the event, and they're like, "Oh, this is Festa. This is the Festa we know and love." And you know, I have actually spoke to quite a few uh, exhibitors during the show, and they have rang the bell, which is uh, one of the reasons sell, why you sell, exhibit, sell. right? Exactly. Yeah. It's the customers of the of the exhibitors. They're here to buy. Yeah. Okay. They're they're ready to invest in their futures, whether that is in the. The finishing, the latest print machine. I'm sure. I'm sure you've seen the big machines from Durst and Fujifilm. 100%. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, and, uh, and we have, we have. One thing is the machines, but what is more important is the people. In, in exactly. our, yeah. And uh, it's quite annoying. It's so nice to have the music, but it's in a conversation. It's a little bit stressful, right? Should, should we walk down a little bit? Should we walk a little bit? Yeah, we can walk a little bit, just because it's uh, maybe we can go. Uh, it's a, yeah. This was not planned, but this is actually hey, one of We're here, this yeah, is a live event. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> we're walking down the aisle. Yeah, there we go. Down the... This is FESPA. <laughs> Are you always in a you always in a good mood, aren't you? I mean whenever I see you it's always a smile smiling. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not always in a good mood. Oh, okay, but often. But right? I would say it's, you know. If, if the exhibitors are happy, if I see it's busy, if I see the decisions that we've made as FESPA, if I can see that the... Um, I mean, here you have one of your goal sponsors, right? If I, can, if I can see that... If I can see that they're working with people, if I can see that they're doing business, then the, even the things that we've done... So as an organizer, we make little changes. This, were you here in 2018? Yeah. So remember we were upstairs and downstairs. I do remember, around. yeah. So everything is on one level. Yeah. Which has made it so much and easier. And also uh, the new hall is S25. It's a new hall, right? No, 27. 27, Which yes. is uh, entirely new. And this Beautiful is also, hall. Yeah. This so amazing, yeah. They're well connected. Yeah. Which is good. Very Let's good. Move. Let's move a little bit farther away. Yeah, yeah. Let's music there. Music, 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 music. That's good. <laughs> Basically, it's just a pure happiness, isn't it? Exactly, and it's yeah. a buzz, and I know that... And now know, we go to, uh, to the car wrapping. We're heading even towards louder, the car wrappers, right? <laughs> where they're probably going to put some more music in, I mean. Probably. But what was important for me as FESPA is that we we had the opportunity to come here to see the first event in April at the Messe Berlin, yeah. to see how that... Oh, just another uh, 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 expo. Fruit, just fruit Logistica, Fruit and Vegetable Exhibition. But I came here as... Festival. I hope they had a fast turnaround. <laughs> oh, it, was, it, it was incredible. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was important to walk around the venue as a visitor, yeah. to experience getting lost in a hall, because yeah. we've all got lost in halls. Yeah, we yeah, all yeah, need to yeah, know. Yeah. So we've made little changes that people won't notice but I notice yeah, but it's yeah. been an incredible impact on the show so um, you know that I've been writing articles about the value of a trade show and I think that a lot of people have actually kind of misunderstood my motive because I didn't think that there was not a need for trade shows I just thought there was a need for constant innovation Correct. I think you have shown that innovation because I mean, yes, it is halls filled with exhibitors, and some some of the exhibitors are smaller, some are bigger. But that is probably some of the trends that you will see, and there will be some needs also in the future to keep developing the show. So, uh, what is your view on that one? Totally agree. Mm. Look, we've been through a very interesting period. Mm -hmm. The work that you guys at Inkish have been doing over the last two years—it all adds. You know, the people that I've met online, 
they're here now. Yeah. So everything that you do, like FESPA doesn't close on at, at three o'clock today. No, no. FESPA continues yeah, on Monday. Yeah. FESPA continues all year round. Yeah. And you know, when I met you and Neil the other day, uh, what we spoke about, which I really genuinely believe, is that with the FESPA and the organization and how you basically uh, give back to the community, also because you have that member organization throughout the world, uh, this is maybe one of the very, very important reasons what justifies everything you do basically right? we we listen to our community yeah. we are directed by our board yeah. our board are some of the leading printers in their field and that insight gives us information that means we're not basing it on a business decision we base it on an industry decision so if people said oh should we postpone FESPA should we cancel FESPA especially last year in October in Amsterdam yeah, because that was still on the exactly. where, I mean also I remember I think your security measure at Amsterdam was just fantastic because first I was a little nervous when I got there because there was no people outside but it was because you basically had to go yeah, yeah, through yeah, exactly. with the testing and not the testing but the proof of testing and, and just now we're free yeah and now we're free yeah but, I remember when but, you sent out that message that now it's free here that was what must be <laughs> Good, right? Exactly. Yeah. But that's important. Like, if the printer and if the industry want us to do FESPA, then we will do FESPA. Yeah. That's our priority. And we started in October in Amsterdam. Now we're here in Berlin. And it's the buzz of every single hall. Is but that tremendous. is only the European side of it, because there's also FESPA worldwide, right? And globally. Of course. Yeah. We've seen here visitors, of course. Yeah. Everything's been lifted. So visitors are coming in from all across the world. I've seen the USA, Australia, Brazil. Vietnam yesterday, all these countries coming in. We do have an incredible portfolio. Um, you know, our profit for purpose at FESPA is that we invest back in the industry. Yeah. And those events, they are speciality events. So uh, in September, we're in Mexico City, which yeah. I'm hopefully that I'll be able to get to because it's been a number of years. Um, and then in December, we're in Istanbul for FESPA Eurasia. And next year, back in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Isn't that just amazing? Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, uh, that global community, and I mean, I, it must also be exciting for you personally to get that, because I mean, there is a lot of similarities in the industry across the world, but there's also the, 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 the nice little differences where you can learn from cultures that are different, and you can see how vendors ad address the markets a little yeah. different from, from... What was interesting, because you've seen you've seen the Printerius feature, yes? Yeah, yeah. What was interesting for me yesterday was that I, I went to, I was, I had a, I had a moment yesterday to have a look around. You actually in, had a moment. <laughs> enjoy what we've created here. Yeah. And I met two printers from Brazil and they were in print areas and they were pointing at products and materials and they were saying to me, where is this from? Who is this? We need this product in Brazil. So sometimes you might think on a, on the global FESPA shows, you might think, okay, this is what the, the industry needs. Um, it's, but it's the, what the industry needs worldwide. So now we know that Brazil is in a similar situation. People are talking about sustainability. People are talking about web to print. They're talking about automation. Mm. And that's worldwide. Mm. And we as FESPA, we can share that information worldwide. Mm. What, one of the things I like about the FESPA organization also when I come to a show like this is that you know, uh, in the in the in the in all the segments across the, the industry, uh, from commercial to packaging to to uh, uh, silence and all these things, I see also a use of omnichannel. I mean, I see your camera teams. I see your I see your <laughs> I website. Can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's great because you know sometimes uh, people might think that okay, uh, this industry will die because we're changing to different uh, areas, but this. All the new technologies basically just substantiate the value of the different media, right? Mm -hmm. It's creating that. You're seeing, you know, I'm following everything on Instagram. I'm following every hashtag. Oh, Fespa. I have to have a fa uh, uh, Instagram page then. Every, so hash you can follow every hashtag there. Fespa is out there. So that's what we're doing. And we're seeing that engagement. Mm -hmm. And that engagement is, is bringing people together. Yeah. I've met people here yeah. that I've met on social media. Yeah. Uh, yesterday I got a, pod, a call from a podcast in Germany and we did an interview yesterday and I've known this guy for many, many years and the first time we met yeah. and it's just that building the excitement, letting the industry know what is Vespa. Yeah. We yeah. are a speciality printing yeah, yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I can tell you when we uh, uh, were talking about how to cover FESPA this year, it was like, okay, we, we actually, I think we actually put a kind of slogan saying that how more instant can it be than live, right? Exactly. So we thought that it was great because it keeps a uh, pressure. And, and I think also when you look at, we have uh, actually filmed live five hours a day. It's been like tremendously interesting to see the diversity of, of, uh, 
all the exhibitors uh, from media, from uh, I mean the, the the substrates to software, to hardware, to the people, to the announcement of new products. And as I said to you before, that people are actually getting the sales, which is what exactly. justifies the investments of going. Right. I mean, exactly. I think it's. Um, I think you have done a fantastic job. So uh, I'm, I'm really pleased that we are allowed to be a part of. Uh, fantastic. This, uh, show it's here. you know this is okay. There are still many challenges in the world right now. 100%. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if I will be able to get home on, on Sunday to back to the UK. Really? So we'll, okay. we'll see if we can still okay. get home for the is flights. Because your passport has expired? No, or? not yet. No, 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 not yet. No, <laughs> okay. no. Okay. But it's like literally, there are still many challenges. Yeah. Okay. And what's mo what's really important is that people around the world now, yeah. they're focusing on events. Yeah. They're focusing on FESPA for the year ahead. Yeah. They're saying they're putting those four days in their diary and saying, look, FESPA, May next year in, in Munich, FESPA, March 2024 in Amsterdam, and then they're gonna use that as their business networking. Yeah. And that's where we're all gonna to come together. Yeah. We all have to be mindful of, of, of sustainability, of our carbon footprints and all of, but, and it's the most important that we're using and utilizing this time as much as possible. Besides, yeah, yeah. Um, last uh, question, um, I think. <laughs> I was just wondering because, I mean, uh, it's not a secret that, I mean, of course, the, the COVID has hit uh, many, many uh, businesses uh, from exhibit, exhibition company organizers uh, to printing companies to uh, vendors uh, tremendously hard. Um, I think there has kind of been a kind of a bubble that was building up for for uh, you know now getting out of the COVID. Correct. And I think, from my perspective, it's almost like there's too many shows starting right now. Is that a concern that you see as part of uh, getting that exposure that you need? Because I mean, as you say, FESPA is giving back to the community and to, and to your to your to the organizations and how we build this community. But there's also like it's been an interesting period, you yeah. know. And it's like anything in any businesses. Okay, if 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 a business is suffering, if a business yeah. if a business isn't delivering for the marketplace, exactly, yeah. then someone else is going to come into the yeah, marketplace. Yeah. So, so, you're basically, so your investment is ensuring your place in the market. Exactly. Course, yeah. we're, we're always developing FESPA. Yeah. Um, I'm already thinking of next year right now. You have to because there's not so long time to, right? <laughs> oh, we've got, at least we've got a year. Like we've, at least we've, we've got we've a had, year. If we can yeah. do FESPA in seven months, yeah. hopefully giving yeah. us 12 months, yeah. um, it should be even better next year. But yeah. um, we need that preparation time. We need to keep developing the show, yeah. introducing new features. You've yeah. seen the sustainability spotlight yeah, here, yeah, which that, yeah. the yeah. feedback has been incredible. You've yeah. got speakers in the industry who don't know this industry, but they've got so much valuable information I to mean, share with us. Sustainability is not a single industry uh, perspective that it's a global perspective across well, all industries exactly. right so uh, and we as FESPA we have a massive role to play in sharing and preparing people for the industry okay. for the so uh, I will see you at the next FESPA right you certainly will okay definitely great how many steps have you done during the show do you know yeah I think it was 22,000 yesterday so <laughs> very uh, good yeah, so I know I've actually I've brought a shirt especially for tonight Friday night and I thought I'm going to be able to fit into that tonight ah, okay. I yeah. couldn't at the start of the week but we can do uh, that I wish I was in the same position but I just keep to my that's good for your health yeah yeah and as, as people have said to me Oh, it feels I, actually, like I actually think I have been drinking a few more beers than I normally do. So I, I don't know if it adds up. I don't know. But that's very see. good. Okay. Thank you to all the team at Inkish. You've done an incredible job, Thank not you just much. here at FESPA, but but throughout the year in educating everybody in the industry. So thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. And say hi to Neil, right? I will do. Okay, I will great. do. That's Take great. care. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. See you soon. <laughs>